diamond glints in snow. What is up guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So my adventures are going to get even more epic now. I am going to be preparing to doing a trip overseas, which is coming I think within this month. This is going to be one of my last video here is in Florida because I have to make a quick trip to California to fix a piece for my camera. I am in a dangerous part of town, so I'm kind of nervous and excited to see how tonight will go. Let's get into the video. I'm not sure if you guys remember this place, but I came here a lot a while back and uh, not sure what exactly happened here. I think something happened. I, I can't remember when. Alright. Look at this. This is one of the very few graveyards that actually <laughs> let you go in at night. You don't really see this a lot anywhere. I do know that there's these doors on the side. I want to make sure they're closed. Because sometimes people will come in here. A lot of the times they'll have this place is locked up at night because people will come in and sleep. And I know a couple of graveyards that I know. A lot of people were getting caught doing that so they just shut it down. It just sucks because it kind of ends a location for me once you can't visit it at night. Look at this. So the lights still work, that's good. Oh wow, look, if you look right over there, one of the things are open. That's usually where they would put somebody's cremations at. Before I go inside, I want you guys to see this. See how it looks like being inside one of these cremation boxes. pretty small when you look at it. That's what she said. Oh, it's very eerie in here. It's like the atmosphere is different. Like it feels slightly humid. But then again, it isn't. Like, there's no water anywhere. It just feels like I'm next to water. I don't know if you guys could hear the helicopter outside, but ever since I turned on my lights, being in this dark graveyard, that helicopter has been circling around me this whole time. So if a whole fleet of cops come in here, suspicious of what I'm doing, it's probably because of that guy. Look at the size of this place. I have not been here in such a long time. I do want to see if anything has changed since the last time I was here. And probably do a spirit box session here or K2. The other part to this area is extremely dark. So it's actually really creepy. But uh, I'm gonna save that one for last. Oh, the elevators, I remember this. Last time I was here, the elevator opened up on its own. Oh my God. Why is this working now? I did not even press the button. It just opened upstairs. I thought somebody was going to come out or I woke somebody up. Oh my god. Look at that. So this is new. New Glarious Brewing Co. I don't even know what that says. Sunshine Light Luger. Some there too. This is another part of the mausoleum on this side here, which there seems to be a little bit of light. I remember walking up through there on the second floor. It's kind of hard to see, but right up through there. Oh, shit. There's a door open here.
Huh. Those are the lifts. That brings the caskets up. If there's anybody here with me, can you come close to the tomb in which the little red light is on? If you can see me. Just come right over here if you're willing to talk with me, I would greatly appreciate it. In the meantime, I'll show you guys what he's I'll show you guys what's behind here. Here's a more darker area. If you look, it goes all the way up there, and then that's my truck. And I didn't know that they had a Pope right over here. All right. I'm gonna ask some more questions because I want to rule out that that's not still spazzing out since I touched it. If there's someone here that would like to talk with me, or not want me to be here, just let me know. All you do have to do is just come close to the little red light here on Guida's, Guida's tomb. Guida, Guida, Guida. I think that's how you say it, right? Guida, G-U-I-D-A, Guida. I could hear you guys correcting me right now on the other side of the screen. No, Frank, it's David Guida. Just want a cool songwriter. But if there's anybody here that's willing to talk to me, or would like to say something, come close to the little rim pod with the red light here. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, I just got a hit here. Now the thing is I was actually probably gonna delete that footage because nothing was happening for a while. And I just got like a random contact. Do you want me to be here? Do you not? Maybe we could try communicating through this little thing, just make it go off. If it goes on, I'll take that as a yes. If it doesn't, I'll take that as a no. All right, so you want me to be here. I will communicate back. Thank you. Can you say thank you? But I could just see them telling me, Frank, you're talking to me like I'm slow. Can you not talk to me like that's embarrassing? I'm just making sure. All right, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Can you tell me your name? How can I tell you my name with a light? This is true. Um, can I'm gonna lower the brightness here. Can you make it go to blue? You know what, let's step it up. Blue or pink? Blue or pink? I got this whole place to myself. Oh my God, if that does blue or pink, that's actually gonna be pretty awesome. I've always been on the fence when it comes to... Oh my god! Look. Literally. Nothing is going on around it. And it just literally went to, to blue and pink. See, the thing is, I've been on a fence when it comes to paranormal equipment. But sometimes you get random events just like that. Which is very, very... Paranormal. I've, I've, I've been here for about 30 minutes doing this. Nothing. I actually was going to delete this video and just like, you know what? Scratch the rim pod. It didn't go off. Can you do it one more time, but make it on blue? Just keep it on a solid blue. I just heard something from the second floor. 
Hello? It sounded like it just came from the second floor. There is no light source whatsoever. So I'm actually kind of curious as to what's over here. Because further down through there, there seems to be a little room. Oh, I think that's a gate. Or is it not? I can't tell. Looks like a gate. Jesus Christ. I am going to start heading to the big mausoleum that's all pitch black. It's actually not too far from here. It's a little bit further up, I believe. And it's kind of like hidden in the dark. But once you go in there, I think there's a bit of a light source in the backside, but it doesn't matter. The whole place is dark and creepy. And that's actually place that freaks me out the most about this specific location. All right, I just made it to the main entrance of this mausoleum. The thing is that there's so many corridors that go in from the left to the right, forward. This is like the shadiest part. Right in here. thing I want to do is say hello and then hear somebody like reply back what's up playboy and it's like oh shit <laughs> right now I am inside an enclosed room here as you can see I'm gonna be asking questions and see if I can get a response but through the k2 meter um, just kind of watching my surroundings because I can hear a lot of its leaves probably falling but it sounds like something stepping on the leaves which gets me a little bit on edge, but uh, all right. Did someone break into a tomb and broke the glass? If anything that I say is correct, just walk up to the little black box here, right over here, and let me know. I see someone broke into a, or it looks like the glass is broken to one of the rocks here, the stones. Holy shit. I don't know if you guys caught that. I, I heard it going off before I saw it. I don't know if I was pointing the camera at it. Did someone break into your tomb? right here. My night vision on my GoPro here is actually dying. It's already at 1%. Like it's draining since I started. Holy shit, I thought somebody was standing right there. Did someone... Was it an accident or did somebody do it on purpose?
Is your name Mary? I seriously have to sound more manly when I ask questions. Is your name Mary? There you go. Sorry. Is your name Theodore? Did someone try to steal something? quiet and not much of anything and then out of nowhere things started spiking just like that earlier again more and more so I was thinking if I take out the SLS kind of do a quick little walk through around here and see what happens if there's anyone here with me can you stand in front of the camera so hopefully I could see you If there's anyone at all, just come close. What the hell was that? I just got a sound coming from further down there. I'm sorry, I'm just hearing noises. I thought I just heard what sounded like a car pulling up. All right, time to go look. But this one sounded like it came from over here. scared the hell out of me. I'm not too quite sure what would have caused that loud. I want to see if it happens again. At this point now, I'm going to go ahead and start using the ovulus type of thing and seeing what kind of responses I could get with that. Um, I'm going to also walk around with my other camera, and I do have a rim pod right there. So if that goes off, and I can get something also responding back, that'll be awesome. <laughs> Let's get into it. Is there somebody here with me right now? I don't know what it just said. Below. Hello? Hope. Hope. Hope for what? What is it that you're hoping for? You. You're hoping for me to do what? It said you. I keep hearing. or singing or something from far out. I'm 
I'm just hoping that's not coming. It could be coming from in the graveyard or it could be coming externally. It's very faint. I wish I had my microphone. You guys would be able to hear it a lot clearer. I am not sure what is going on with this thing, but I already reset it and put it back and it's still going crazy. See? I haven't even touched it yet and it works. See? I want to go see what that sound is coming from outside, but I want to say that it might be malfunctioning, but I was still getting reads off the K2 meter as well. All right, I'm going to leave that. In fact, no, let me take it with me just in case. The truck is over here, and I left the truck shut off already, but I usually left it on. Uh, because I was charging some stuff. Alright, I'm getting closer to my truck now. I'm definitely glad to see the cops aren't here. Alright. I'm gonna turn on my light. I was literally hearing what sounded like talking going on. I'm not sure which area I was hearing it coming from. What I'm gonna do is take out the thermal imaging camera and kind of wave it around this area, seeing if I could see anything, if anything. Um, yeah, let's do that. All right, so right now I'm still in the graveyard and I could literally see on the other night vision what looks like somebody sitting down not too far from where I'm at. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like, but that's who I think I was hearing. I think they're praying or mourning over someone or just talking. All right, look. All right, I'm not gonna get too close, but look, right over there, you see? They're at another structure there. It's like another memorial. say something so you can hear it because it was pretty loud. They're in the dark. They could be a homeless person. Oh, I lost them. Come on. All right, hold on. I'm going to bring up my thermal limit, uh, the night vision IR. I'm about an hour short before daylight starts rising up and I didn't know there was people in here but there you go I hope you guys like this video let me go ahead and do the outro in the truck and get the hell out of here what is up guys thank you for watching Franco TV I hope you guys like what you've seen I don't know what is up with tonight but I was getting a lot of weird activity when I came to the rim pod and the, the k2 meter at, at first I thought the rim pod might have been acting up a couple of times but then the K2 meter was actually getting some good reads as well, but I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Let me know what you think. I think tonight was pretty active, and then seeing that person that was hiding out there kind of creeped me out because I think they walked past not too far from the location where I was, and they walked to that one area where they decided to just sit down at because I heard them from one side of the uh, mausoleum, and then as it slowly transcended to the other side, which kind of threw me off, and I even started looking at that one house thinking that it was coming from there. The last video I'll be doing here in Florida as I make my way to Cali and then eventually Peru. So wish me luck. I'm excited. It's great news. I can't wait to give you guys the new content because, my God, there's a lot more coming. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.